Sorry, I just paused it here just to mess with you. Those videos that you just saw there was an old record for a, an old project that I made quite a long time ago and uh, since then I've forgotten it until today that is. Thanks to a comment that sparked my interests and me finally finding the project and remembering about it, I'm going to rebuild it I guess today, but better. Now after pulling out some spare replacement parts which I was too lazy and not bothered to <coughs> pulled out of my ass wait that doesn't make any better the point is that I got out the spare parts to fix what well to fix it obviously the two problems being the striker rusted and the cannon itself which was dislodged from the mount now replacing the cannon mount, which is like replacing your legs with somebody else's, which is a really disgusting way to put it. Why, do, why did I even come up with that? Well anyways, the process of doing so was actually pretty easy. But even though it was easy, it did take some time to make it, so I prepared a little montage to keep it a bit more entertaining. That better be a good sound. Oh shit. Oh, damn. oh there we go. Nice weather, eh? Hey? This guys. Fucking work. Oh, and I forgot to mention. Uh, this design actually came from a dude that I just straight up copied and redesigned it to my liking. So I'm going to leave a link down in the description for his model because it's pretty cool. Anywho, I got three parts now. And where's that cannon barrel? There we go. Now tracing back the origins of my cap ammo and actually finding the model for it. What the hell is this? Now for the ammunition, I have refrained from making live rounds as this is a blank round which consists of two parts which the striker is located here and if you put it together there a cap can go perfectly through there. Now theoretically you could, you could put some, I don't know, gas or something through here seal it and then have a live round but for obvious reasons I will refrain from doing that now on to testing now after putting on my safety gear and then assembling the cannon I was ready to fire Alright, 3, 2, 1, fire. Oh. Shit. Now quickly I'm gonna tell you in advance. First of all, as you know, there are projects that succeed and projects that fail. And then, lastly, you got projects that are made by me. Hey, that rhymes. Anyway, the point being that, unfortunately for you viewers, this project is made by me and my well, what I would call success isn't really considered success so yeah just so you know nah oh, right here the shell stuck inside the alright so it does feel a bit criminal not to give you a bit of context here so what's happened is that the primer didn't set off from the striker but the striker managed to rip the rim apart from the shell so now I gotta redesign it and once I redesigned it 
it was useless so I redesigned it again and then this time it was less useless so well, yeah just kind of stupid anyway here's some action Jesus Christ All right, three, two, one. Oh, Jesus! I just wanted well, to point out now that I realize it sounds, it looks a bit weird having me react every time to the noise, even though I designed it to literally go off right in front of me. But believe me when I say so, I'm actually, I was actually kind of surprised because every five times I fired it, this was probably what fifth shot it would only set off once so it was a shock to me if it even came on and it was loud like very loud even with airmuffs on and now I'll shut up alright new round yep that's what I'm talking about holy Blank or not, this is fun. Hmm. Oh, at this point, I don't care. Okay, not far. And. Is. Oh, I'm even wearing earphones. Oh shit, that was loud. Holy shit, I'm sweating. Holy. Well, this is really just one time use stuff. Probably because I've been using it several times. Jesus Christ, it exploded. The shell seam is fine, but it's disposed now. Here you can see all the phosphorus that's been blown and just covered the whole nail and the plastic. You can see a white outline from the explosion. And yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out this striker. Oh, that's it. Oh, my ears. <laughs>